Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. We're out on the water today to do some pike fishing. I'm excited, I love spring pike fishing. So uh, yeah, let's go head on to the first spot and see what we can pull out of the lake today. Let's go. So I am starting off with this guy right here. This is the fish everything uh, paperweight. We got some beefy, beefy <laughs> pike split rings and hooks here. I have had pike bend out split rings and hooks, like size six hyper wires. So we, we beef these guys up. Uh, we're going big, beefy <laughs> tackle mode. But yeah, we're gonna start off with this guy right here. Um, I'm able to work it pretty radically. Uh, nice like side to side walking action which I really like for pikes so we're gonna see if the pike like it too it's still pretty early in the morning uh, didn't check the water temp but early spring I guess I don't even know it's early spring anymore but <laughs> early summer uh, the pike like that sun so I think the the pike action is gonna or the pike bite is gonna heat up in the next couple of hours as the sun's coming up but we're in for a very very nice day out i don't know if you guys can see that nice chopping action awesome <laughs> God. Oh my god. I got his tooth. You guys see that? See that right there? I got his tooth. I pissed him off. Oh my gosh, I pissed him off. He swiped at it. You guys see that? There's his tooth right in there. I want to check it back there with his tooth. Oh my gosh. He stalked it. That was a mid 30 size pike. He stalked it. Whew. My heart is racing. My heart is racing so fast. Let's see if I can get him again. The issue is if I see them, they probably see the boat. Sometimes they're so fixated on the bait though, that they'll eat right at the boat without even caring. But he swiped at it. He like, he, he, you guys saw he got the bottom. And I set the hook and he let go of it. I wonder if he'll show up again. There he is. He's there. He's stalking it again, guys. He's oh my gosh, I can't move my... I need more room. He sees the boat. No! He's right there. No! <sighs> it's so funny. When I touch the bait, he goes... Choo! I'm gonna go up a little further and cast from a different angle. Mm, that's not good. I don't see him anymore. I'll come back later in the day. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. It's a little bit slower and he ate it. How am I gonna net you now? <laughs> How am I gonna net you? There you go, guys. First one of the day. Not what we're after, that's for sure. 28 inches long. Not what we're after, but it's a good sign. Hopefully they're starting to munch now. Let's release them. He goes back down. On that paperweight, I slowed down just a little bit. More of like a glide than a, than a choppy motion. And uh, I bent my hook in on accident getting that fish out. Um, 
slow down just a little bit and he came out and ate it. All the fish I have seen so far have been really deep. Um, really deep for this time of year, like no shallower than 10 feet, they would come up and chase my bait. Uh, that's here, I don't know where we're at, I think we're at seven or so feet. So he's a little bit shallower, came up and ate it. Like I said though, we're looking for a lot, lot bigger fish, but 28 to start the day, let's go. Dude, the whole thing's in his mouth. The whole bait is in his mouth. Holy. There you go, guys. Quickly measure him. 34 inches right there. He's bleeding a little bit. Let's get him back. He just went, he had a little bit of an issue going. Uh, he ate the whole paperweight, like the whole thing. It was down his throat, so the back hook got a little bit of the gill, um, just one of the gills, but I got it out, as you guys saw. It took him a little bit to go, but he just scooted out that way, so I'm pretty sure he's good to go. Pike are pretty hardy, so I feel good about that. But that came off the paperweight once again. He ate it. He ate it. Oh gosh, that's the biggest of the day. Come here. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. He t boned it. T boned it. T boned it. I wasn't even paying attention. Let's go guys, let's go, let's go. Oh yeah, he's chunky. There you go guys, that's a heavy, heavy fish. Let's see how long he goes. 37 inches, 37 inches. Absolutely destroyed my bait. Let's take him back. Oh my gosh. Holy. Nice. Decent fish. My PB is actually 38 and a half. Uh, so that's a very decent fish. Um, my goal this year was to break to break 40. So that's our that's still our mission for the day. I'm going to take a quick break though. And uh, whew, cool down and then get back to fishing. He was super, super shallow. I'm gonna go back to that spot right now. Uh, 
it was like a sand flat uh, on this side and there's a couple of rocks and it got really deep I was cruising along the sand flat, flat um, and I cast it out that way and two twitches and he actually like hit me like out of the air <laughs> like top water <laughs> all right do you guys remember that fish from the morning that uh, had me hauled me in a couple times he bit it and I got his tooth we're gonna go try for that fish one more time fingers crossed he bites <laughs> that was probably like 35 36 inches so it'd be cool if we can get him into the boat let's see if He's home. <laughs> well, guys, it looks like he's not home anymore. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I only got half a day to fish, so I got to head home. Uh, but that's a wrap for the video. Let's quickly go over our day. Uh, we had a lot of followers, um, only a few biters. Biggest 37 inches. Um, a lot of fish showed themselves, but kind of weren't quite, quite into it. Um, They've been acting a little a little funky, I guess you could say a little drunk, but it's okay, we got a couple on the boat. Um, I had a lot, a lot of fun throwing this bait today. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this is the uh, Fish Everything Paperweight. As you guys can see, it is absolutely thrashed now. But we really like the action of this bait for our pike, so yeah, well, going to be one of my designated pike baits. As for the rod, reel, and line, as you guys saw, I horsed my fish in. Uh, this is the Corrado 8 foot extra heavy rod. Workhorse reel right here. Tranks 301. 80 pound power pro to an 80 pound fluorocarbon leader that I tie myself right there. So that's the setup. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave links to all that down below in the description. And uh, we're still looking for that 40, but hopefully we'll find it this spring. See you guys in the next one.